Rights Council is set to deliver its final outcome report on the status of human rights in the United States. Here's a report. Inhumane prison conditions, racial disparities and the death penalty, ill treatment of immigrants and many other human rights abuses have been among the many concerns of the council members. The United States has a long history of accusing other countries of human rights abuses. But has it paid as much attention to the status of human rights on its own soil? Amnesty International says hundreds of people in the U.S. have lost their lives as a result of the violent practices of law enforcement officers in the country during the past decade. But police brutality doesn't only target people out in the society. The U.S., which is the biggest prison population in the world, also mistreats inmates. Most jails are overcrowded and prisoners complain of daily mistreatment. Torture and forced confessions are common in U.S. prisons. The number of death row convicts who've turned out to be innocent remains high. A total of 99 death row convicts had their convictions overturned between 1973 and 2002 after it was proven that they had been innocent. These people spent years of their lives behind bars living in horror and suffering tremendous mental trauma. In most cases, the main reasons for their unjust sentences had been their lack of access to legal counsel, confessions made under duress, as well as judges' manipulation of jurors. A study at Northwestern University in the state of Illinois has found that between the years 1977 to 2004, the number of women imprisoned increased by more than 750%. The Prison Activist Resource Center says almost 7.5% of political prisoners in the U.S. are women. This as the United States regularly lectures other countries on the rights of women as well as racial and religious minorities. Reports such as those made by the Universal Periodic Review of the UN Human Rights Council could be a first step to bring accountability to the self-proclaimed defenders of human rights in Washington. While well, community leaders and activists have held a rally in Buenos Aires demanding better housing conditions for the poor.